How you doing, sir? How you doing? Man, we're doing wonderful. We're just gonna get a little footage. That's it. You have awesome. a national park already? We do not. Anybody military, fire military? Um, no, sir. Is 25 good for seven days? Cool. Awesome, thank you so much. For what? Oh, right there you go. <laughs> I like it. See? Dude, my God, uh, dude. <laughs> thank you. Have a good one. It's awesome. <laughs> So one of the cool things I love about Fort Pickens is you actually have, uh, there's a few different spots along the Gulf here. So we're on the Gulf and then you have the intercoastal on the other side, but these are, um, they're private beaches, which is pretty sweet. So there's, if you look down here, uh, you don't have thousands of people or hundreds of people all by you, right? So you can come here and if, I'll tell you, you get the year pass and then you could come hang out in one of these spots and you don't have tons and tons of people, which is so awesome that I love. Um, now, while we're, since we're standing in front of this sign here, let's check this out. Cause this is super important. If you do come here, when you drive onto the beach, you're going to see different flags. You have, um, you know, this is, this is probably one of the ones outside of the red that you want to be paying attention to is the marine life. Uh, cause you have, uh, um, you know, your jellyfish and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to stop here real quick and tell you guys, this is one thing I really love about this area. It's just having, um, you know, your kind of private beach. Obviously you can see we have a parking lot here. There's only, you know, 25, you know, or let's see, three, six, nine, 12, 15, you know, 18 parking spots. So if this one's full, you just gotta go to the next one. Yeah. Look how pretty the water is today. Oh my gosh, guys, this is phenomenal. So beautiful. All right, so how cool is this, guys? So right now we are on the east side of Fort Pickens, okay? So if you look at the map, okay, we're gonna bring the map up right now. As you can see, Fort Pickens is on the east side of the pass. And then Fort Barrancas is on the west uh, part of, of the pass. Here's in the robbery, here's in the staff, you gotta drink, gotta drink. Learn nothing was blocking me. I was the problem, the only one stopping me. I didn't like it, I had to refocus. Now I'm devoted, I know where I'm going. Controlling emotions, I'm owning the moment. In order to get it, see, you gotta want it. This type of flow make a living break. Confessions over these 808s. Don't sleep on the key, better stay away. I mean, for heaven's sake. I'ma be the best, came from the endless. Playing with the games, missing with the chest. We beating on my chest, trying to get my rest. Watch me while I flex. Every win is a blessing, and every L is a lesson. So when I run into rejection, I know it's all in me direction. I see the blessings right beside me. It just is a point in a What's that? I think one of the most iconic spots of Fort Pickens is you'll see a lot of 
a lot of people come here for for weddings, um, you know, photography. Uh, I mean, outside of the history, there's so much that goes on here at Fort Pickens, um, and I think it's pretty awesome. But one of I think one of the most iconic um, spots of, of Fort Pickens is right here along uh, this little corridor here and I'll tell you what's really kind of crazy is um, to think about you know when this thing was was being built you know they didn't have the tools and the resources and the supplies that we have nowadays and I mean look at there and so you'll see this place is just built out of brick and back in the day Pensacola was known for their brick masons um, so that's why you'll see so many homes here um, have that uh, that old brick uh, but this is so cool to see um, that the architecture and the formation and the the, the, the uh, design of this to think that this was being done without any kind of uh, engineering cat design any of that kind of stuff that you have nowadays um, so let's go check some of this out because you guys are gonna be stoked let's go check this out look at that design look at that look at that it's just absolutely crazy and could you imagine being stuck right here no air conditioning in this heat blasting getting shot at Wondering if you were gonna see your family later on that day. Hey, could you imagine being right here with a gun and you have to reload, you have muzzle loaders and you're getting shot. You might take one off of here. You know, you, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. CJ Ike, they ain't no longer a bomb. They ain't no longer a bomb. They ain't no longer a bomb. Look at the crystals. It's like this. It's like this all the time, guys. So when you come through here, it is eerie. I mean, there's probably thousands and tens of thousands of people that are stuck in this place. You know, the the amount of people that probably died in here. You know, I mean, look at how old that steel is. So decayed. I mean, it's a little eerie, guys. You know? Maybe probably where they had heat. Maybe they had a little fireplace there. Any worthy prisoners? Come on, guys. Let's go find some. When you think about people just being held, they probably, in that little 10-foot room, probably had 30 people in there at some point in time. So if you come to Pensacola, you got to come check this out. Or if you're just along the Panhandle, um, you got to come check out Fort Pickens because you think about, you know, Pensacola was the first founding city, okay? Now, people will argue that St. Augustine was, but real historians will tell you that Pensacola was, and we're gonna talk about the history of this because it's actually the city of five flags. Um, and I don't know it all by the top, you know, off the top of my head, but we're gonna get into it, talk to you guys, but, but Pensacola is the, the first established city, so it's pretty neat to see this stuff and it's just, the history here is just, it's crazy. Cause you know, I, like I said, you know, I come from the West Coast where it was cowboys and Indians. Um, and then you come to a place like this where, you know, uh, it's very interesting cause the Spaniards were actually one of the, the founding countries of this area. So a lot of the street names and things like that are Spanish, like Cervantes, which should actually be Cervantes. Um, you know, there's so many other um, parts of this city that were established by the Spanish. Yeah, you'll see so many uh, weddings, 
uh, and uh, maybe engagement uh, uh, photos and things like that that are in these really cool arches. I mean, turn around and take a look at that. How cool is that uh, all the way down? That is so cool. Look at that. Is that cool? This is like this is like a photographer's dream outside of the history. I mean, uh, it's so cool. So, so check this out. One thing that's really cool about this, and I'll tell you, the only time I've really seen uh, calcium deposits like this is when I've been in like uh, um, caverns and things like that. But to see this, it's pretty gnarly, man. I just couldn't imagine being stuck in this room with hundreds of people. At one time, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. All right, so check this out. So real quick, um, so right now we're on the east side of the pass. So if you see over here, that's the Pensacola Pass. That is gonna put you into the Gulf. So you have the Gulf of Mexico over here. You have the, you have the intercoastal and then Pensacola Bay. So you have, this is Fort Pickens. On the other side, that was Fort Barrancas. I mean, uh, Fort McRae. So on the other side of Fort McRae, that's actually, we, we've got some footage on the boat over there, guys. Check it out. But over there, and then over here, that is all the Navy base, all along here, right? So remember, back in the day, you know, in the early, or in the 1800s, when people were trying to come on this land, they had this, right? And people would try to come in through the pass, and they had this whole thing protected from Fort Pickens, Fort McRae. And then if you see all the way down there, that's Perdido Bay. Perdido Key, all the way down, and then you got Gulf, Gulf, um, Gulf Beach, right? So th that camera view is uh, looking west. See, like the like that's a trainer, a trainer jet that's flying right now. You'll see him fly in and fly out. Huh. Um, but yeah, so that puts you. That's the pass right there that puts you into the Gulf, right there. And that that pass. So the only way to get into the Gulf of Mexico, you have that one, or you go down to Orange Beach. Or you have to go all the way down to Destin. Okay, which is where so, we're staying. Yeah. We just came down there yep. to see. So there's only, you know, so from here to Destin, there's those are the only ways to get into the Gulf of Mexico, like from boat, right? Uh -huh. So wow. it's uh, so if you are, you know, if you're gonna go fishing or something like that, um, you know, staying in a place where you can get into the Gulf is, you know, half the right. half of the, the the travel and half <laughs> of the expense, you know. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, could you imagine like, you know, just hearing gunfire and, you know, bombs and grenades and, you know, cannons and people screaming and yelling and just the mayhem of going through here and smoke. I mean, no light, right? I mean, burning candles and fire. It's gnarly. What do you think, cameraman? Gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> All right, so. This is probably one of uh, one of the coolest stories about this area and about Fort Pickens was uh, the capturing of Geronimo. So. Um, whoa, dude, look at the temperature drop. Whoa, the phone's gonna survive. What is, what is this? Damn, this is a crazy tunnel. We're about to lose vision. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. We're about to lose vision all around. It feels great in here. Yeah. I'm not even gonna turn on the, the light. I kind of want to feel this. We're gonna run into this. Oh, look at this. I mean, this is where they just ran people and artillery and from one side of the island, from one side to the other. Pretty crazy. That's so cool. All right, guys. Look, you can either go left or right, but oh my gosh, you gotta, you gotta, like bend down. So it's only about four feet tall. This is pretty crazy, and I'm probably scared to go all the way down there. So I'm gonna go backwards. Where does it go? I don't know. And I'm, I'm too scared to go. 
not as cool in here. I'm too, I'm too big of a guy to get stuck down there. You know, I'm like, you know, you gotta, I can't just do like a three point turn. I gotta back up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you, if you noticed in our picture, I had, to, I had to reach up to get my arm up on you, man. I'm six foot three. And this is, uh, this is uh, uh, Perk. He is uh, our new addition to, uh, that way you guys don't have to see me uh, and my crappy uh, one-armed uh, videos anymore. We have uh, the, uh, the cameraman that's uh, taking care of everything now. Uh, but man, look at, I mean, look at how small some of these little entrances are, but then you have these huge, this is huge, that's 15 foot. But then you have these little entrances. And what is this? All right, so I think we just came on the other side of this thing. So I think we're now on the east side of the fort. So we walked around the whole inside of this thing. That's pretty gnarly. Y'all having fun? Okay. Yeah, super neat. All right, so I feel like I've run a marathon. Yeah, and we haven't really gone too far. What does that mean? Does that mean we're out of shape? I think so. No. <laughs> right? Wow, this is so cool. Looks like so you got a good old muzzle loader there. Yep, 1861 Springfield. Wow. That's heavy. Yeah. Nine uh nine nine and a half pounds. Nine nine and a half? Yep. Jeez, and could you imagine? I mean like we were talking about that being packed in here with hundreds, thousands of, of people. It'd be living throughout the fort in yeah. the basement. Right, with no air. Very limited water and Most food. Most of them, and, during the Civil War, majority of them lived in, or were from New York, Massachusetts, obviously from the north. Right. Um, alien to this area. And so, because of the climate that we're in, the tropical climate, um, you can only imagine what kind of hardships they had. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, just the, and the lack of, I mean, air and food and water and that kind of stuff. I mean, it just, and to be dressed like that. Right? I mean, in that that wool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sweating yeah. my ass right yeah. now, and it's, but yeah. you know. And being, being packed together throughout the fort uh, created really bad morale for the troops, really bad health situations for the troops. Right. Um, and that's why before the war, uh, over at Fort Barrancas, which was the main post for the U.S. Army, um, that was the main post for the Army because it had detached barracks, not only also because it was closer to the U.S. Uh, Naval Yard, but um, that detached barracks was constructed to uplift soldiers' morale, create better living situations for the men because it was obvious that living in cramped uh, quarters such as uh, these within the casemates were just bad. Yeah. Crazy. Well, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you all for, for you and what you do out here. This is so cool. To, we live here, so... But uh, I think it's so awesome to, for people to come and visit and yeah. to have people like yourselves to help explain and you know educate people um, because reading a reading something just doesn't give you the same. No. And uh, um, yeah, we live we live in Pensacola. And just even when we're talking about uh, just downtown where you know they uh, um, at uh, where the whole little um, setup is downtown where the, the historical district the historic village oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you know churn and butter and all that kind yeah. of stuff i mean it's, it's so cool it's completely um, different than what we're using nowadays yeah 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 and i, like, I was it was funny because i walked through i'm like could you imagine like you know there, there was no gps to be like hey i need you to go over to you know this coordinates it was like hey i need to go over there and be getting shot at and you know smoke and yeah. smell and you know and try to yeah yeah, the, I mean, that's the cool thing about, about this area is that you really get to learn about the technological advancements from, you know, the early to mid 18th century all through the present. Yeah, it's so cool. So how, how long y'all been doing this? You, you like doing... I've been doing living history for several years in different parts. Yeah, were you, is that what you got your degree in? Was that kind of... I got my degree in geography. Geography, okay. Yeah. Um, well, because I, I feel like you have to be passionate about this kind of stuff to, to sit out here and do it. Absolutely. You know? So it's, it's pretty cool. 
So, well, thank you so much for, for what y'all do. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So cool, guys. This is so cool. Make sure you, you know, you, you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. Like I said, if anything, it makes me more popular with my kids, right? And, and that's all I want. I just more, want more clout with the kids, right? No matter if you're just coming here to vacation and you need a restaurant uh, re uh, review, rec re uh, restaurant recommendation, we love to help you out. Uh, and if you're looking to buy or sell any real estate along the panhandle, somebody in our office would love an opportunity to chat with you. Every once in a while you gotta do that. You know, I don't know if you know that. That's a, that takes skill, all right? Um, but uh, Tim Eklund, 850-637-8622. Uh, we really appreciate you guys, um, you know, just watching and make sure you comment. And if there's a video that, uh, or a topic that you would love for us to do, let me know. Um, as you can tell, I'm really shy behind the camera. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I love to do what any, whatever you guys, whatever y'all want, whatever you feel uh, would help you with um, making a decision to either vacation here or move here, Bro, let me know. I, I would love an opportunity uh, because I try to think as many things as I can, but I don't know it all. Uh, and half the time, my brain is wrapped around you know dad stuff. So if there's things that uh, maybe people that uh, aren't parents that you want uh, a little more insight on, let me know. Just comment. <laughs> Pop, 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 pop,